So, many people often ask me um, how I record my lines for Ed's World the Movie, and I actually don't do them here at my own house. I go to my friend's studio, and he has a lot of sound equipment and music equipment, so I often go down there and record lines. Uh, but if the lines are needed in a very short space of time, I do record them here. I do have a mic, but the mic isn't as good as the studio mic. So recently I've been thinking about focusing more on Ed's World the Fan movie on this channel because I do play Matt in the movie and a lot of people like to um, quite often whenever I get a message they're like oh how is Ed's World the movie going and all that so I, I thought maybe you know keep you guys up to date um, there is an Ed's World the Fan movie Q&A coming out on my channel um, in a few weeks so look forward to that but this is just kind of a little vlog of telling you and showing you how I record my Matt lines. Messy as shit, ignore that. Fuck's sake. Stop. Yes. Master. So many leads, like, I don't get how you understand. Look on the back. It all connects into the compressors, it's fucking confusing. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, these aren't even turned on, so I might have to fucking yeah. do that. But that doesn't make the microphone sound any better. The EQ of the microphone is uh, right here. So, uh, this sounds like more travel -y. Yeah. This sounds low, you know? Yeah. So, uh, if you have a bit of travel up and um, low EQ, mm. it sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's too low or too high, it'll just sound fucking trash. Yeah, yeah. So it's just getting the hang of it, isn't it? Like, the best kind of pitch sound thing. Ed, it's only 7am! Ed, it's only 7am! Ed, it's only 7am! That one's good. Yeah? I like the last one, yeah. I don't see how being first... I don't see how being first... Of course we are, Tom. Just look around. Of course we are, Tom. Just look around. So that kind of just shows like the whole process of how I record my lines for Ed Sold the Movie and the mini search. You got a few snippets there of how I do it. Um, it's very simple, um, but we have a large setup and it's a lot of fun. Uh, so once um, I've recorded my lines, we stay here for a bit and it kind of goes out of my hands now and it goes to Photonic Wax here who will uh, mix the sound so that it's at the right levels and doesn't sound too distorted or too quiet. He kind of, he's really good at what he does and there will be a link to um, his music because he does a lot of music in the description below. Uh, check him out. <laughs> Here he is. Um, so yeah, we kind of just kind of go uh, and just try and make it as professional as we can. And then we send it over to Mark or Tyler in this case because uh, this is a mini sode written by Tyler and then it completely goes out of my hands until the day it is finished and uploaded. <clears throat> I think... Yeah, fine. Yeah, good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we've done it boys! <laughs> I think I kind of like, I don't usually talk about Edsel the movie, um, or as it's now known as the Edsel fan movie, we, we changed the name. It is it's a huge privilege to be a part of that, and so many people are watching the project. Um, I think we're on like 21,000 subscribers now, and that is truly incredible. I never thought I'd be a part of a project like that, and playing such a big part. And it really is an honor, and I'm so glad that I got the part, and I love every single minute I spend doing it. And even though this movie has taken so many years to do, you hugely improved. I have hugely improved my voice, yes. And I think, like, my I was a kid when I started doing this, and now my voice has changed, so I can do more vocal range, and that really has helped the project, I feel, and I'm so glad about that. And everyone in the team's kind of improved. And yeah, the whole project, like, even though it's taken so long, it's getting there, like, I can't say much because it's so confidential. It is getting there, and I've seen so many new animatics for the movie, mini-sodes, and it's getting in there. And the end of 2016, start of 2017, so much more work than we have been doing before. And it is looking amazing, and I think you guys are going to love the film. I'm, I've known the story now for about five years, and it is a good story. And you will love it, and I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs>